Yeah, of course. We will try to beat the sub 2 in an alt main one. I think that never happened before in a marathon run, a sub 2 for an alt main in Pokemon Red. So yeah, we try our best and Clefable is an unbelievable strong Pokemon with a big move pool. Um, we are trying to take use of that and yeah, I am trying to visualize you guys the poorest rank of this Pokemon. So I would be ready to go. You do the countdown or me? Okay. Okay, start in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Yeah, thanks for luck, Jim and Goliath. Will you appreciate it? So basically what we are going to do is uh, playing the game with Squirtle. <laughs> then we are going to catch our uh, Clefable or Clefairy and evolve it into Clefable. Yeah, then the one can really start. So this uh, this run features um, several of the. Does it feature all the normal minips we would see? Wait, what? Does this uh, this run feature all the normal minips that we would see? Uh, it doesn't feature Nidoran minip, of course, because right. we just ignore Nidoran. Instead of we doing a what one what one minip if we have to. Okay. So we minip all the way from what one to Weedle guy. But the West is normal. Gotcha. And obviously, we're hoping for uh, hoping for good special here, because we uh, we do still have to fight Brock with Squirtle. Yeah, good special and good speed is also important. Like, we want to have at least 11 speed on level 6 that we can outspeed or at least speed tie the Ekans. I mean, you could explain what happens if you're slower than Ekans. Uh, yeah, being being slower than Ekans is uh, quite bad for, for many reasons. <laughs> Uh, getting hit with rap in general is uh, always terrible, especially in Gen 1. Um, in later gens, rap is a pretty terrible move, but in Gen 1, uh, you're trapped, basically. You can't attack and you take damage every turn uh, until it releases you. It's, uh, I believe it's 2 to 5, right, in Gen 1? 2 to 5 turns? 2 to 5, yeah. But 2 and 3 turns are more likely. 2 and 3 is 75% and 4 and 5 is 25%. Okay. Pretty rough rival fight, but we are through without using our potion. We have bad special, decent attack, decent defense and decent speed. So we shouldn't be slower than Ekans. That's a good thing for sure. Our speed isn't that good, uh, our attack isn't that good, but it's fine. Our special is bad by now. But we don't know too much about our special yet. Have to wait until level 8. Nice.
We need that early XP. Uh, do we just uh, defeat one encounter in uh, in this yeah. round? Yeah. Okay, so it's just to get uh, get bubble in time for Brock at an opportune time before we have to uh, fight the first trainer in Pewter Gym, I imagine. Correct. Wait. Brock, you mean what? Right, right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, it's actually a decent start. Like, in a way, sub 5 talking to Oak again is pretty solid. And those of you that have seen Gen 1 speedruns before uh, may know why Tebic took the time to walk to the left of Oak here. Um, the rival walks up from the bottom of the screen. And so, um, since he always walks up to the same spot, the further you walk up, uh, the less tiles he has to walk, and he walks very slowly. So yeah, he that's walks why we exactly do that. half your own speed. Yep. And I believe in yellow, we walk all, all the way up and around Oak. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what the uh, what the difference is there. Why we do that? All right, so here's the uh, the first minute. Normally, yeah, we would also minip minip level three Keter P right in front of the reader guy potion, but since we have XP already, we don't need that. Shout out to Poi for this sick minip. So this minute features some nice shortcuts, for example this, and also in the forest. Easy. Uh, how's the uh, is, how is the IGT on that manip? Oh, it depends. But there are several backups for some IGTs, so it's a really sick manip. Nice. Now uh, you can uh, figure out the IGTs on the NPC movement and then adjust to get your KDP. Oh, very nice. Okay, really rough. We do guys start to be yeah, honest. Yeah, it's not very good. And tackle miss is not good. What? What? I didn't press down, man. What happened, man? I really don't get it. Eh? I swear I didn't press down. I just pressed white. Okay, that of course sucks now. Losing three minutes because of that. Sick. Don't get this, man. Really don't get this. I mean, I know normally the potions are in slot two, but I definitely know it was in slot one. Oh no, no, I messed up. Oh, the movement. Oh, yeah. I just try to focus and keep going. It was a mistake, man. I just... 
It's alright. I don't get it, man. Bad school or bad start. Nice. We will get an encounter for sure. Oh, that's so rough, man. I don't get it. I mean, I knew it was in slot 1, of course, but... They totally catch me by surprise. Wow. Me neither. Me, me not Gniffle. Honestly, not, not anymore. <laughs> Can already whip estimate, in my opinion. Or we will just die again, if we would go for that. Yeah, just keep poison stinging, man. Okay, yeah. We will not have good Anji this one, I guess. That's like nine in a row now? I accidentally. I accidentally antidote instead of potion on Weedle Guy with 3 HP. Dude. Quit and miss again. Absolutely no sense. It never happened to me, like, for years. And of course in the Mawad one it happens. Okay, we leveled up into good special. That at least something. That is at least something. We're doing all right. We're doing all right. At least we didn't get poisoned this time around. We skipped the early mart to be able to buy more potions later because this is what you need in this one. Potions, potions, potions. At least in the early game. We're not saving because it's basically impossible to die with... Uh, Good special without swapping. Nice curl, that's what we would like to see. Only thing that kills me is double 139 tackle quit, so we are fine. Orangey's turning around a little bit here. Yeah, it's just ignore the three minutes, man. Yeah, we can keep going, of course. Of course, up to hour is still possible. But all we life. Mm, yeah. It's going to be hard. Let's go up to six antidotes. Antidotes for poor safety. How's the uh is the money route kinda tight in the in the Not realm? really, we don't even pick up the second nugget. Oh, wow. The okay. hidden nugget in the underground, so it's fine. 
It's it might be the reason because we don't need that money XX because we don't use Hornwool or such thing. Okay, and the badge boost um, often explains already. I don't think we don't want to do that again. Uh, it's pretty helpful in this world with Squirtle. Free shot is definitely not guaranteed on not the best attack. Ah, and the cool fact: the only reason why we are level 11 for this fight is because we fought an 11 and uh, level 2 PJ. That's the only case. Um, you are level 11 for this wheel. Should be able to bubble this. Yeah. No, Wong Wolf. Into crit. I just swapped around a bit my item order, a bit different because of my PC potion and so on. Just to have it consistent. And then they use the squid. Torrent is not a thing in wet, no. So this short sky fight is also really scary. We don't wanna see pay with hits from Retata. That should kill. No, with double badge boost not. Ah no, with single badge boost. My fault, the first tail whip missed. Now punished. Okay, won the first. Maybe speed high. Into wet is he? Wow. Now can you tell me if my voice is still ahead? Then I try to not commentate too much within the fight. Ah, uh, no, you're good. Okay. I think it might be different for me on Discord. Or uh, watching, watching the feed on Discord. Okay, we got another web. Let's hope it's not a speed tie. What is possible on 11 speed on level 6? Okay. Pretty solid fight, I would say. So, and for safety reasons, normally we would fight up, uh, we fight, we would fight the last on top here now. Then reset the map and go for the third bucketcher. But for safety reasons, uh, we use this route. The advantage would be that we don't learn water gun, that saves time while teaching surf. But the advantage is also that we have water gun, what makes catching level 8 birds way more easier. We have to hope for some free turns. Was it speed high? Okay.
pretty bad bug catcher in my opinion. But it's fine. How's our potion count looking? Um, actually not sure. We bought 11. Had 2. I had 12 then. Used... Uh, I think we've used 3. 3, yeah. We should be on 9. The so next step is trying to catch either a Pidgey or a Spiral for Fly and then catch Paris in Mount Moon. What is that a 5 turn? No way. Nah, it always looks like it I think. <laughs> yeah, and then this wall makes it. <laughs> I'm so slow. Now we get water gun and we can also use water gun for the metapod of course. Should save two turns. Oh maybe only one. I thought I had decent special, but oh okay. Nice. Please don't die. I can't... Yeah, okay, good. Like, you can't go for 60% catches with, with just one backup ball. It's... Have I water gunned here? Yeah, it makes sense. Is the... The catch is guaranteed, right? Uh, at that HP? Uh, the catch is guaranteed, yeah. Fun fact about this moon manip, because we're catching Paris with Squirtle, backups won't work really good. So we really have to hope that we don't get IGT. There's one backup I figured out uh, yesterday that we could use, like Poi manip, another Poi manip. Uh, but yeah, we just hope that we don't need it. Thanks for the luck, Yurito. I do like Firewet, yes, as a game. So interesting, at the end of the minute we walk two tiles down instead of up. 
to be closer to the Clefable Manip uh, save tile. And we have to catch it with Paris. So we swap here. Being able to learn Horned Will, definitely. Okay, we got the clef. Nice. Go. Claps and chat. Normally we would use our thing for Misty in world record attempts, but it's way too scary because it has an accuracy of 55%. Okay, that's unlucky. Yeah, it has, it has an accuracy of 55% and three misses in a row is not unlikely. Not viable for a race or a marathon using Sing. Yeah, it's a bit risky. So, uh, what's the uh, what's the strat instead? Uh, swapping to Squirtle and use some Tail Whips. Oh, okay. Squirtle can tank a few hits. Having to rely on Mega Punch also seems a bit scary for the run. Yeah, like, I don't know, I will, don't remember the number exactly, but I think it was like 40 Mega Punches you need uh, for normal wet glitchless from bridge to bill out of 20, so you can miss like 6 or so. In in this particular one, you have exact you can exactly miss fifty percent of your mega punches. What is exactly the accuracy to be fine to end up on zero after the auditions? Okay, that's, so that's it's a bit so more bad. tight and rough about mega punches. Yeah. Die. Nice. Was a bad range. Very nice. Can we just take a moment and appreciate the back sprite of Clefable in this game? <laughs> it's just huge. Hey, uh, it feels so huge. Can I lift 29 to, uh, to pick up candy from here and center and I don't die? Oh wait, I can die anyway. Because I center anyway. Yeah, it's fine. So I clef our Clef will die here, most likely. Actually, bats in the chat. Is my Clef going to die till picking up candy and center or not? <laughs> we have one no. Ah, it lives. It will die? It will- <laughs> what are these answers? <laughs> it will faint, okay. I mean, it's way slower to heal off the poison, therefore we do this. <laughs> Thank you for the 30 second prediction, Jordan. <laughs> Oh, I 
Yeah, but I said that. <laughs> he did say that. So now we fight Goldin and then comes the scariest fight of the whole one. Good miss. Do we uh save do we have to safety save for Misty? Yeah. Yeah, okay. When you say it's the scariest fight, I kind of <laughs> that's probably assumed. <laughs> That we would that we would say for it. Uh, what am I doing? Normally, a sweat also could be to swap your um, was it called shift set? Uh, oh yeah. Game style, like I don't know how it's called. Uh, yep. Normally, would change it to shift also, but I don't think it's necessary. Okay, really good. The worst thing that can happen is Exifan turn one here. And then it doesn't two shot, yeah. Let's go for the pitchy first. Uh. If we have a free switching on the squirrel. Dude, what? Since when does my Pidgey lift that? I have never seen that. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is a tanky Pidgey. I mean, he also lift my water gun. So... That's... Two down. That should be three down even with a crit. Yeah. Actually, only two down because he's on Exifend. Now we try our luck. Water gun is good. He can use tackle, water gun, or bubble beam. No, dude. Okay, good tackle. Ah, are you actually kidding, man? Dude, three in a row! On Misty, uh, on Starmie, basically. Oh! No, uh, uh, you can't win how, like that you can't win. You just can't win. Please tackle, man, tackle. There are nothing I can do about that. Four misses in a row on Starmie. That is quite unlucky. Just bullshit, man, honestly. Like, wow. Alright, we just go again. Yeah, okay, we the can save look estimate four. now. New estimate is sub 205. Please just bubble beam now and not exifend. Dude, I can't believe it. Then we get some low walls and get one tail with more off, and then we could go for pound at the end. Okay, for 10. Uh, of course. <laughs> uh, Bow beam is not good. Uh, 
do a double bubble beam. Don't quit. <laughs> oh no, man. Ugh, oh, it's so rough. It is actually so rough. Should I go for things right now? Why without seeing I would say Dude he always does that I can't believe it Twice twice it lives from tackle, that's crazy. And twice it did XC fan tackle. <laughs> Get uh, some ten rolls every turn this time. Of course not. So minus two. Miss? No. Okay, look, looking pretty good now. Thing. Uh, let the. Enemy Pokemon fell asleep with a shard of 55%. Hey, we're through the worst fight. Yeah, was it Not without or some difficulties, but that's why it's the worst fight in the game, right? So, yeah. Roll with the punches. We got pretty or unlucky. The, or the but... punch misses, I should say. Yeah, four on the wall on Stami, it's just... I never had that. Yeah. Oh, come on. I mean, I have... Like, 300 attempts in this category, and I never had that. Can't even... I mean, because... I guess I never had that because it's a reset anyway, or you're dead already. <laughs> but, yeah. Actually stupid. So now we get instant hex? To have at least a theoretical chance of sub 2, but I would need to run faster than my world record right now. I would need to save over a minute, so it's out of range. Yeah, this pitch out is a two shot, but we are slower. No sand. Just hit. Good. Really good. No way. Uh, that's the thing, when you talk and... Speed running, man. That's the exact thing, I forgot to teach Bubble Beam. Talking too much. All the time sucks anyway from now on, but... Still annoying. So we get instant hex again. Even though the fight was perfect. Oh, it's, uh, of course you get a perfect fight when this happens. 
Hey, what we really have to beg for is not getting poisoned from the Nidoran females and the Ekans. Nice. Daewoo did a mistake again. Be able to bubble beam them. Yeah, I'm really glad that instant hex isn't a thing for normal wet wastes anymore. Yeah, but that's basically the one. Uh, having a really rough early game and then cruise through the mid and late game. Hmm. What is this? Take. Um. Thank is calling. And bye bye. Finally. Poison. That's good. Even though we lost 40 seconds to the menuing mistakes, but it's fine. Not going for one record. We are showcasing this one. course with the best time possible. So we're doing top hiker by the reason that we want to get the elixir. And you can the... skip that if uh, if you plan to center, but uh, that's only if things go really bad, I assume, if you take too much damage. Um, not really. Uh, in a way, it's not even that bad to center. Thing okay. is that uh, wet buff for fly split is whip then, pretty likely, oh. okay. or like guaranteed. And it depends on the potion count, of course. I think my potion count isn't that bad overall. We can definitely go for the end. The Mega Punch count is also not that bad. That are the two things you consider.
we can't even bubble beam them a chop. This Clefable is so strong. We could potion like zero times here, but I think one potion is definitely the way to go here. Did I pick up my elixir? You I did. forgot it now. Oh, I did, okay. You did, yes. And that's also a nice thing. Innocent text bull. I don't think we see that very often. You're at what, 43 right now, so you're just gonna potion? Yeah. Uh, millions po million of potions, actually. Now we yeah, get instant text again? Yep. <laughs> yeah, I was just gonna say, uh, don't, uh. Hey, don't forget to have instant text again. I feel like I've been watching so much Red without instant text. I feel like, uh. For anyone Welcome that's back. been doing, we didn't. Yeah, anyone that's been doing like races recently would uh, would probably forget to grab it if they were doing a regular run. No. Hems off to me. I was racing, and then I did some real wet attempts. Yeah. And hard, hard I was always hard, walking left up, and then them, I. Yeah. No, I was like, no! And it was an instant reset, and that's also what sucks. Even though you didn't even talk to the rival yet, it just loses so much time if you're already, like, next to the rival. Right. Okay, we got both ranges. With Mega Punch. Not even fresh. Those who don't know, that was a full restore. We just picked up there. So then we fight the second trainer first, that's by the reason that we are leveling up to level 26 after the first Pidgey of the second fight, so we can bubble beam the Pidgeys, otherwise we would need to mega punch them, because bubble beam is a range then. Yeah, level 25, sorry, not 26. We only Mega Punch one pitch now. And if you're really tight on Mega Punches, that's pretty important. Thank you. 
So, what we are grabbing now on the boat is Body Slam and the Gentleman -y. aka where candy that uh, lies in the um, or lays in the um, gentleman room. So Polysem is right here. And Body Slam is just another level than Mega Punch. 100% yeah. accurate. And Wave Swanger too. Does the uh, Paralyzed chance come in handy in, uh, in any fights? And on Surge, yes. If you Paralyze yeah, the Raichu, it's of course less likely to get more damage. What can be good for Wet by Aspects. So also this man gives really good X XP. So now the rival fight. Believe it or not, the Picciotto can be a one shot. With Mega Punch. It's a range, but and the range isn't even that bad. Let's just hope we get it. Oh. Ah, close. Oh, but we got... Ah, I don't think it was Pound. Yeah, it was Pound for sure. Ah. Alright, the punch hit. That's what matters at the end. Yep. And we are fine on Mega Punches anyway. Yeah. What's my HP? I wanna say it was 37, I just barely missed it. 37 seems very really low. So I start with 60 I guess, and I got Someone in damage chat from say nothing. It. I believe I'm around 60. I'll, I'll look at the clip real quick. Well it's fine for search anyway I guess. Uh, 58. I was 58. off by a lot. <laughs> so, Thunderbolt is doing 28 non crit. So, it should be fine. 28 max. Yeah, and if you para the right, you outspeed it, of course, too. What? What? Oh my god. Teaching body slam over mega punch. Teach cut and dick.
and do the can manip. My IGT is pretty much on track, I would say. Because my only time loss was because of resetting. Nice. Is the fight's not too dangerous then? No, not really. Like, normally you want to stall, but you can't really stall because you get outspeed. It's really hard to, to calculate if you are slower than Raichu to set up for Red Bar. So it's more or less luck. Kills there. Pikachu the speed is also a thing. Oh, nice. We take those. We don't want wet by nice. anyway. Although we basically kill everything on the fly split, but. Like, there's nothing scary on fly. Oddish is a guaranteed range. You only use 100% moves. We swap the bike up that we can access access the bike uh, faster and easier. Keep singing for the memes. Never know when it might come in handy. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Normally what you do on Raichu is to pound first um, and then that you are able like to make a free shot out of it instead of a two shot to just get more damage from Thunderbolt or Thundershock. Uh, for uh, Red Bar, Bar setups you're saying? Yeah, Red Bar is OP in that game. Saves like 45 seconds, 50 seconds on fly and you just can't ignore that. I'm yeah. Safe. Do, you, do you get to keep it through basically the entire split? Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that's very fast. I mean, Cliffable has pretty high level ups, like getting plus four HP and so on. Um, but if you have good HP and manage to keep it f through the whole flies, but it's so strong. And that's also the reason why a sub-150 with some more wet bar and Clefable is definitely possible. Thank you. 
Here, body slam, guaranteed kill. Hello, Sanchez. do we have uh, besides body slam that we learn in this run compared to normal Nido runs? Psychic? Ice beam? Yeah, that uh, the big move pool for Cofables definitely comes in handy. It's super useful. Yeah, Psychic and Ice beam are the moves we still get. No horn drill shenanig shenanigans in this run. Uh. Oh, you can bow beam the bird. Nice. It's actually faster. My notes say Thunderbolt. Oh, yeah, we have one fight left without Psychic. And Psychic is also another level. Especially for the ghosts. Uh, currently it's nearly seven minutes, a bit less than seven minutes. World record compared to world record. Six minutes and 46 seconds, if you want to know it exactly. What? What? Dude, I'm so confused sometimes. For what I practiced that. 
I felt like that I overjumped one number while counting the bike pedals. Right, it's just so, impressive to me that anyone can uh, can get that uh, even with practice, because it seems seems very hard to get uh, reliably. It's not that hard. It's more like a feeling, and you have also a good audio cue that people use. Oh uh, yeah, audio cue is probably the most helpful since there's basically no helpful video, uh, visual cues yeah they are like the 13 bike pedal count okay. like that the bike pedal uh, moves down down and up oh, we have ice beam Don't forget the water for the guard. That would be uh, quite bad to forget. Okay, now we have our X items. Fits perfectly with our money, 100 poke dollars left. Time for the fun menuing. Yeah, the 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 next two menus are actually pretty fun. They are making a lot of fun. Now we get psychic. Clean menu. Don't get told by the NPC that is here. Yeah, the menus are a lot of fun. Also my favorite part of Gen 1, the menus. Like I remember as a child I was so... I was so annoyed of the menus and like you only had place for 20 items. And you had your PC where are all the items and the HM moves and so on. But now with like cool menuing stuff and speed running it's... Really cool. Really yeah, it's cool. especially uh, it's especially interesting in Gen One. Just the fact that uh, everything is swapping, and if I'm not uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's, it's the only Gen that's like that, where uh, you choose one item and then you move it to another slot, and it switches them, as opposed to uh, what I'm most familiar with, Gen Two, as uh, as well as Tepich is. Uh, yeah. Both of us running Pokemon Gold. You, if you select an item in your bag and you move it to a different slot, it'll just insert it between yeah. uh, the two the two items that you're uh, that you're in between. 
That does make for a lot of very interesting menus in comparison. But isn't like the cursor in Gen 2 still like on an item instead of between two items? Yeah, yeah, it'll just, uh, it'll push all the items down, I believe, right? Yeah. I know, I, I believe down swap is different than up swap, but I'm not sure. It has, it's been a while since I've done uh, <laughs> main series runs, so I honestly couldn't tell you either. But. Yeah, I practiced some gold uh, in the beginning of the year. I did some ones, so... But I'm also not sure. Yeah, but that's like my favorite part about Gen 1, the menuing stuff. All these nice techniques to make your ones faster and so on. Pretty awesome. Pokemon speedruns are pretty awesome. I assume this uh, most of this section is pretty uh, pretty free with Psychic. You just uh, steamroll all these Ghastlies. Absolutely no issue for Clefable. No, don't worry, guys. We don't want the elixir here, so I don't forget it. You go for heal pad skip for uh, world record attempts. That's usually um, just to... I timed it. Um, on wet bar with heal pad skip, um, it saves like five seconds. Okay. I Me, mean, you can run least... it the uh, haunter, of course, to skip it. But like, imagine you. Uh, Heal pet skipping and get quick attacks, and your time loss is gone already. Yeah. Yeah, it's, you gotta. You know, saving that five seconds does go along with. Uh, if it goes along with some risk, then. And you need really good HP for it. Right. So if you level up, like after the second rocket or so, or in within the third rocket, it's not worth it at all. Here's the classic Gen 1 uh, quote-unquote glitch, as some may say, even though the uh, many of the devs have called it uh, an intended mechanic for you to be able to poke it all past this instead of uh, instead of the intended way of being able to see it with the uh, self scope. Hold up, now it's coming. I remember seeing that the first time like seven years ago when I start speed running or six. Um I was like it, it changed like how I how, how I saw the world, the Pokemon world. <laughs> completely. It completely turned around. Yeah, I'm not sure, uh, Sanki, I'm not sure where I saw that, or, uh, yeah, unfortunately, I, I don't have a, I don't have a source for you, but I remember tell someone telling me about it before, that's all I got. I mean, the poker doll does what it's supposed to do, right? Yo, Eggman, what's up? Thanks for the luck. Really appreciate Man. it. Yeah, 
You see this, Clef? It just kills everything, man. It's crazy. Flavel is crazy strong. When when was the last what was the last Pokemon we didn't one shot? I think it was Waichu. If you think about that, it's actually crazy. Bike to the safari zone. We repel early by the reason that we uh, don't get the text box. And if we don't get the text box, like, if we would uh, repel, like, in front of the Snorlax, uh, then we would get one text box for the Snorlax and one text box after the Snorlax that the repel was out. Snorlax alt main runs when? <laughs> I to drink something. Okay, so we can eat three times to have more shards in Sylph in a, in some minutes. Making a range out of the Arbok. 66%. Ah, nice, Sunky, you found it. Glad I wasn't just uh, listening to some hearsay. That's also probably true. The uh, the older games are uh, riddled with uh, things like that. Lots of uh, mechanics overlooked. Like, uh, for those of you that, uh, I imagine a lot of people in, uh, in chat are familiar with Gen 1 speedruns in general, but, uh, just the way the dig and escape ropes work, uh, and a lot of, and the fact that you can go into many buildings and just, uh, escape rope out and it won't send you right outside the building it'll send you to your uh your last used pokemon center which is uh like we just saw there it acts more as a uh as a teleport necessarily than, a, than an escape rope yeah, it's also the reason why we just sent up before uh, otherwise we would end up at oh, i don't know what the city called where misty is Cerulean? Cerulean, yeah. 
We would add up in Cerulean. Yeah, I was gonna ask about that actually. Is if it, it feels like we're centering more, uh, but the fact that it's uh, it manipulates where you end up from uh, from dig. You mean centering more compared to Nidoran? Yeah, I guess I. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess I maybe maybe it's not. Anymore. No, we have only two centers. Normally, I mean, I took some safety centers, of course, and right, also okay. before Misty wouldn't center normally. Gotcha. You just potion up if you didn't miss too many mega punches in Moon. Okay, got the 66% range. That's really good. So we are massively underleveled. But we take on the challenge. Again, here's some, uh, some odd movement. Not taking the optimal path so that the rival has to walk less tiles. So it actually is optimal. That's bad. We have two XX. Uh, there are two, two uh, where we uh, potentially use an XX, where we where our accuracy gets dropped. If we have to use both, we get toxic and lose time. What? Ah, no, oh my god, I'm so stupid. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm talking and I don't do it. <laughs> okay, we are fine. <laughs> It's really, I really have problems with talking and running. That's really strange sometimes. My brain just completely turns off. Might yeah. be also because I have to think while talking English because it's not my native language. Sorry, oh, I'm uh, not more knowledgeable on the run. I can't commentate as, uh, as well as I would like to, but... You're doing so just there's fine. a chance to die here to psychic quit. Uh, okay, now we just keep body slamming then. Wow, of course I get to die with the disabled text box. It would have been something important. That would never have happened. This fight is somehow annoying by because of the move order. You have to go two down, then you have to get go two up, and then you have to do, and then you have to go two down again, like two two two. Pretty awkward. <laughs> Cannot think of a fight we have like that in normal glitch list. So we are beating Giovanni now, then we skip Earthquake actually. Because we don't need it, we have Body Slam. And Ice Beam. Body Slam's OP. Don't do it. Good.
That's kind of irritating in Gen 1, how uh, multi-hit moves, they do the, uh, the, the screen shake every time you get hit. Much slower than... Uh, stick in the chat, um, we catch it in Mount Moon. With basically perfect stats. Also, shout out to Grogia to find this new Clef Minip. Or was it Grogia or Swingflow? I'm actually not sure, but shout out to both because they are both pretty insane with creating Minips for PSR. Very true. So I believe it's a speed type of this Kadabra here. This could be interesting. I shouldn't be dead to Psychic Quit to be honest from this HP. Does it... yeah it should have... Ah, does it have Psychic already there? I think only the Sabrina Kadabra has Psychic. Actually not sure. Yeah, I think it only has Psy Beam. What can confuse me of course, what is a bit scary, but it's fine. You also might be just straight up slower than the Kadabra, but I'm pretty sure it's a speed high. At Zenon, I did a, I, 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 I bought the Magic Cup for 500 bucks and finished the game with Gaiavados. That is pretty interesting, but also pretty annoying because you always have to swap Twain, which is not fun. Swap training is very slow. Okay, that's a really good confusion. I had to hope, I really hope for a bit more damage. Because Wetbar is pretty strong in and post Koga. Well, post Koga not dead, it's just the Eric costume that you can take use of. For Blaine, you have to heal again. Dutch. No, that's so bad, man. Dutch, come on. Uh... Koga doesn't play the game, Dutch. Thanks, Dutch, for the luck. Would you appreciate it? Look how strong the psychic is. Yeah, now we get toxic, as I said before. And we get strength. Oh, yeah, wait. Very, very strong normal move. 100% accurate. But it's weaker the body stem, right? By like 10 or so? Right, yeah, yeah. Uh, 20 power? Is, I thought is like body slam 100? Was... Yeah, yeah, and I thought strength was 90, but it's 80, right? 
I believe it's 80, yeah. Yeah, so normally we would have uh, not water gun and we would save time here. If we would have done the opposite on what we were fighting the last and not the bug catcher too. don't need blizzard because we have ice beam so what I did there was toss some things to be able to get the secret key after the toxic and to be able to pick up two candies here or candies in general uh, did you toss the antidotes yeah okay mm, no I tossed oh, power okay. heals power oh, okay. heals and toxic normally I would Toss power heals and antidotes. But because I have toxic, I can toss toxic because it's faster. Okay. Secret key obtained. And we out. We would have worked by here, it would be pretty sick. But can't get everything. And we get our fifth batch here. Free to go. Beam making these fights very trivial. Nice having a hundred percent accurate, strong, uh, strong ice move instead of Blizzard.
It's double super for plane. Because playing can be really scary. Plane is the hardest gym for Clef. Have to set up four X attacks here. I didn't even think about that. Uh, can Clefairy not learn, or sorry, can Clefable not learn uh, Surf? Or does it just not work out with the route? Um, good question. I can't answer that. I will look it up myself so you don't even have to worry about it. I guess it doesn't fit into the wow because the ice moves are more strong, right? Uncle Fable can't even learn surf. Interesting. It's kind of surprising. Uh, maybe not, and it's not that surprising. Can it learn bubble? You just gotta yeah, water gun, focus, I mean. focus on these uh, questions. <laughs> It'd be, uh, it would not be fun to get one of the questions wrong. Clefable can learn Water Gun, Bubble Beam. Obviously Bubble Beam, we used it in the route, but not Surf. Yeah, so that's the only two water moves I can learn. Oh, where the water does come from. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the only HMs it can learn in Gen 1 are uh, Strength and Flash. Alright, Blaine, scary fight you said, yeah? Not potentially scary, but just a lot of things to set up. Yep. And we're out of, um... And, like, we could get Ember Burn, that sucks really hard, of course. But we have the full restore for that, yeah. Yeah. Wait, why I'm slower? Ah, he agility, of course. Oh. Yeah, we could of course quit uh, the Arcanine to Fire Blast quit or something. Cause in Gen 1 quits ignores that changes. So it makes out of 4 X attacks, it makes basically 1 or 2 X attacks out of it when you quit. Uh, how does Clefable will not have a. Uh... Very high crit rate in Gen 1. Do you mean? Uh, ah, you mean in general? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, his base speed is not that fast, not that high. I mean, it's based on the base speed in Gen 1, how your crit rate is. Yep. So, Starmie, for example, has a pretty high crit, crit rate, or Voltorb. And a crit rate of, for example, Geodude is pretty, or Slowpoke is pretty, pretty damn low. Who would have thought being slow is actually helpful in some ways? But I we're still faster some... than everything uh, after 1x speed in Sabrina's gym, at least. Don't do it. Good. Um, I did some... I don't remember what it was. Pidgeot or Reticate, or both, actually. Uh, 
But you set up always a lot of things and then quit and then you just die from the enemy. It's so frustrating in the late game. Uh, yeah. Much higher crit rate for, uh, for those. Eradicates somewhat fast, yeah. Just imagine we wouldn't have Super Potion twice. We would have Red Ball all the way from Blaine to Sabrina. Wait, actually not. Pretty close. I'm calculating. Yeah, close. Um, for those of you that uh, that don't know, I've just been kind of assuming that people know what we're talking about. But uh, when we talk about Red Bar, uh, when you're in Red Bar in Gen One, uh, especially in Red Blue, it's very fast because you skip all uh, um, all level up jingles uh, as well as Pokemon cries, um, which over the course of a lot of fights saves a lot of time. Uh, it doesn't quite work the same in Pokemon Yellow, but it, it's, it still saves time in that game, just uh, not nearly as much. Um, so that's why uh, Tepic has been talking so much about how uh, Red Bar in World Record Attempts is so important, and there's so many places where uh, where we know to set up or where we want to take damage for example like he was talking about earlier in the surge fight where we want it to be a three turn fight so that we take more damage because the lower we are the uh the better it is because the longer we get to keep red bar because each time uh even if you're um not taking any damage or you know not gaining any hp you're not healing you're uh Every time you level up, your to your total HP goes up by a certain amount, and therefore your percentage HP goes up by uh, by a little bit. And that's what matters for Red Bar is what percentage of health remaining you're at. I explained that in way more depth than I feel like I needed to, but uh, <laughs> it's an important mechanic for the game. Uh, yeah, well, here's another very important mechanic uh we didn't see it earlier on um on uh wh whatever route that is i'm i'm blanking route five or something uh with the shorts guy uh but leaving the building and then uh going back in resets the positions of all the npcs so we can uh walk right walk right past that black belt after fighting him because uh Despite the fact that we can go on the uh, the right side, it's much faster to do it this way. Just because the uh, I don't know f for those of you that have ever played this game um, casually, you know how s you may know how slow that animation is. Definitely not like it did, not like it is in uh, Gen Three for those, uh, the puzzles for, um, if you know the puzzles in Ruby Sapphire in Tate and Liza's gym, uh, those blocks send you, send you very quickly, <laughs> but these ones, uh, take probably four times the amount of time <laughs> when you, uh, when you step on them, so. Well, it looks like, uh, easy peasy Giovanni's gym. Yep. Uh, fighting and uh, the Rhydon's very susceptible to uh, to our uh, our versatile moveset. All right, and then the last, uh, technically second to last rival fight here. And then we will be headed to the Elite Four.
It is pretty crazy, honestly, in Gen 1 how many, uh, how many fights there are where it just so happens that the, uh, the first Pokemon in the fight, uh, a lot of times just lets us set, set up pretty easily. Like, uh, this Pidgeot, for example, a lot of oh, times we'll just use agility, but... Okay, taking a little bit too much damage here. Yeah, was a bit scary for Wazer Leaf. Cause it's 74, according to my notes. And I believe not considering 139, so I just go for the safety here. Yep. Cause uh, we can't one shot the Venusaur. And not realistic to set up that much to be able to one shot it. Yeah, we just can't afford the money, basically. Right. Otherwise, as, you would as we, do it. Yeah, as we saw earlier, uh, after all the X item shopping, we were left on $100, so... X item shopping is... is a bit tight. Could hope for a freeze here. Freeze would be nice. I know it's cool, too. Alright, no sweat. Normally with this HP I would just go in without buying full restores. I think it makes sense to heal and buy full restores. Never be too safe. Especially this late into the game. On a marathon run. Hey, the swag boulders. one mechanic I wish they would bring back or um maybe they have in later games and I just don't know but uh like bowlers or what oh <laughs> well that too <laughs> but <laughs> no I was uh referring to even if you already have a repel up uh being able to repel again uh there's a lot of spots I think that uh isn't there like a text box that comes up you want to repel again later gens oh yeah in later gens yeah uh especially in those gens where uh usually money isn't as much of an issue and so you can just over buy repels so even if you're repelling on uh imagine during, you could just parts. diably straight up use free repels and have like 600 tiles instead of 200 then right right 
Hope you also something. Open this room for new sweats. Okay, I didn't swag boulder this pad because uh, otherwise I would have got the repel, repel text box and we would have the chance for encounters. Because this always loses repel tiles. Every time you spread a swag boulder? Yep. You lose repel tiles? Yep. One. I actually had no idea that that was... <laughs> that that happened. I, I, I always assumed it was just a... Uh, a visual thing. Interesting. So, now <laughs> we make, make it a one-man show, guys. Hold the deposit. As a lot of you know, when uh, the uh, official timing of the game ends uh, after the credits, no. and uh, in order to um, Not after the credits, after the... Sorry, not after the credits. Uh... After the Hall of Fame. First that, white frame. Yes. Yep. After the Hall of Fame. So you have to actually watch uh, all of your... All the Pokemon in your party get inducted into the Hall of Fame. Uh, so the less Pokemon we have with us, the faster it goes. Also uh, helps out for... Um, I don't know if that's, this is actually relevant at any point in the Elite Four, but when you only have one Pokemon with you, uh, you can't get um, roared out or anything like that, or whirlwinded away. Dude, why you have to quit me? Everything quits me. Aurora being quit, Body Slam quit. If I miss the Lapras range or quit into another quit, I could be dead. Okay, nice. Easy peasy. So for Bruno, I will heal to full now that has only one reason. Mid Mid Champ. Mid Champ is a range, 61%. Um, sixty-one percent and submission just kills me, or does like one hundred thirty, one hundred forty damage. Non-quit, because it's the strongest fighting move in Gen One, and we are weak to fighting moves with our Clefable. So I've just set up a special twice. Uh, to guarantee the range, yeah. Also quit guaranteed kills, if I remember correctly, so... That's fine then. Like we could use that X special, maybe, and use it on the victory road rival. Why we didn't one shot the Venusaur. But unsure about it. And yeah, of course the ward isn't optimized yet. There's there's still some potential. We just need people to win it and to improve it.
Down goes my champ. Agatha can be really scary. And I think it's the only case where we are allowed to get Dream Eater, Dream Eater hits while being asleep because it does like zero damage at the end. But what you really don't want to see is Confuse Way here. One more? No! Oh man, it was so close. Oh my god. It could be, it could getting really scary now. Hits herself to haste is like the absolute worst now. Are you actually... I don't know what to do now. First I would say get this Gorbit out of the way. Uh, I'm even slower than the Haunter, wow. Uh, Dude, there's actually nothing I can do, really, except healing. Haze, I mean, imagine hit self haze, it's like <laughs> the absolute worst. And it, of course, happens. Don't flinch. Oh my god! Okay. Is this Gengar 2 hit is the question? Dude. The worst move he could have used. Why is that so much damage? Oh god. I'm getting absolutely destroyed. Oh my god. Special fall? Can kill? Do it. I can't. I can't do this. If I hit myself the night shit, I'm dead. How's our full restore count? The special we... drop. Nice. Okay, really worth it. Wow. Down. <laughs> we made it. Uh, how's the how's the PP? Do we have uh, enough we PP to get through the rest? Okay, oh, we have an extra elixir. Yeah, actually we elixir after lands. Oh, okay. That's so we're still fine no for lands then. All. And this lands is pretty easy. Look what happens on turn one. Clef is so good. Just by that reason. See ya! Even without a crit, it's a guaranteed range. Can we X speed first here? Because there's a nice thing, you want to explain a badge boost while using X items? Because, like, I can explain. We use X speed first and then X specials because first we get the X speed boost, and while using X special, we get another um, we get another X speed badge boost basically. And because of that, or the other way around, like if you use X special first and then X speed. You only have the X speed boost, but you're missing the badge boost for speed. And that turns out that you are slower than Aerodactyl then. So you have to do it in a different order. It's also a nice thing to know, definitely. I 
I actually didn't know that before right now. So, uh, the X special reapplies the badge boost. Uh, yeah. Speed badge boost. Okay. Like, always when your stats are changed. Okay. If you get table pit or use an X attack by yourself, <clears throat> it's basically the same case. Okay, the only thing we could die is to sky attack crit high roll. Did we elixir? I wasn't. Oops. I'm used to having one next special spare. <laughs> Okay, perfect timing. So now the Venusaur is a range also. We could use another X special here also to um, secure this Venusaur range. But what? it is a range here at least. Therefore we choose to not to also, because it's we... a range and normally your HP is so fine that you're not dead to Razor Crit. Razor Leaf Crit. Yeah. Also we didn't have the X special to spare because of uh, securing the range on Bruno, so... Oh, our well, fun Arcanine comes again where we basically don't really have an answer to. So we hope for Freeze or something again. No burn is fine. Born burn wouldn't matter at this point, also because we only use special moves from now on. And this is a range, last Pokemon of this category. We got it! Nice. GG. GG. Wow. Actually, sub 204. Didn't expect not, that. Not so bad. Yeah, yeah, considering the start, losing 3 minutes by a stupid mistake in the beginning and 5 minutes on Misty. 204, I'm totally happy with that. Like what I yeah. said, directly after Misty, the goal is now sub 205 estimate. Um, was pretty good. Except using Antidote on with the guy, I played pretty solid also. I believe. Yeah, very and clean And of menus. course, the, inst the instant text mistake was also pretty stupid. But yeah, that happens yeah. when you're talking and running. Like, I'm really not that good in it. You did a fantastic job. Thanks. And 154 IGT is also not that bad. And time's and... coming up here. Time. Nice. Okay, my timing says 2.03.56. Yeah, there's probably some... Uh, What's some... the stream timer? <laughs> Sub 2.04. You got it. Yep. Very nice. What counts. Yeah, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions still regarding to this one or to my person, um, drop them now. Because we have a next one um, coming up. And yeah, thanks for the GG's guys and thanks for watching, thanks for the support. Thank you so much for that run, Tebek. And we're gonna... Yeah, no problem. Thanks at um, having me here to be able to run this and showcase you this one. Because our main is like one of my favorite categories. I went a lot of alt main the last two years and improved it, improved a lot of routes. Some nice Pokemon came out, some really cool routes together with some um, of the PSR, some people of the PSR community. Yeah, there are definitely some routes here. People could take a look at it if they are generally interested in speedrunning and 
are a bit bored of Nidoking, but uh, a big fan of Gen 1, I just can recommend uh, trying Alt Mains or Alt Starters also, but I'm more of a fan of Alt Mains. Yeah, it's a really cool showcase of uh, some really uh, really original routing. Very, very cool to see. And also uh, awesome work from the community to make manips for even these alt main starter runs. It's very cool. Yeah. For uh, alt main runs. Very awesome. Shout outs to the, uh, all the people at Poi and uh, Stringflow and... Uh, Gogi. Gogi, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gogi. All right, and we're going to throw it to a quick break here as we prepare for our next round. So thanks so much again, Tepic. Yo, thanks for watching, guys. And I wish you all...